when your clematis is too heavy and it makes its support fall over. We also got a bunch of rain last night, so everything's kind of leaning. But here we are. Second week of garden tours. I'm a day late, but I broke my foot and walking around hurts real bad. So coming up and down the stairs was not happening yesterday. <laughs> um, so yeah, rain last night. Everything is pretty happy about that, except for this, but they're dying out and they'll get cut back when they're brown. Um, I believe I have a fertilized seed pod, which is pretty awesome. Um, yeah. I don't have that new clematis in yet because, again, I haven't been able to do much. Um, but this one's doing really well. It's got some flowers on it. I'm going to have to find a way to get it to affix itself this way. I think I have command hooks that I might stick on my porch. Um, the hookah is doing amazing. All of them are, actually. This one being in its third or fourth growing year now, I think. And then those ones are really just in their first full year. This clematis is flowering. And I just love the color on these flowers. There's one down here too. I just try to keep it from growing under the porch. I want it to go on the porch. Um, bleeding hearts are doing well. That ho the guacamole host is doing well. I've already got a flower stock on one of my white uh, lines. Yeah. This original bed here is full. And I mean, I'm also waiting to cut this stuff back so I can go get annuals. Because annuals are on sale now because greenhouses are shutting down because it's the end of June already. Then we got... The rose bed with strawberries. We had a couple robins eating the strawberries earlier. Um, so hope for humanity is getting chewed on. We haven't sprayed them yet because um, we're trying to find our the the stuff we used last year. Cause we can't find it in the house, which doesn't surprise me. Um, Tons of strawberries. Oh yeah, you can see my broken foot. <laughs> um, tons of strawberries coming in, which is awesome. Centennial came back, which is a little slow on the uptake. Gonna have to come through and weed again. If there's one thing that the rain is good for, it's making plants grow. The unfortunate part is that, um, Weeds also grow, which make it a little difficult. So, this has come back too. We were kind of worried about this one, but it's got flowers. Like, look at these strawberry plants. I posted a reel the other day, or a short, I guess, on YouTube about my strawberry field. But yeah, like, this is a baby runner. There's more runners coming up. Eventually, I just want the roses, or the strawberries to, like, take over in between the roses. It's gonna be awesome. And then, this, once, now that I've given it kind of a chance to establish itself, is actually doing really well. Um... The dirt has kind of settled, so we're probably going to end up having to put more in, which is fine. Um, the tulips are doing really well after the bunnies ate them. The hookers here are doing really well. I was kind of worried about them because they get full sun for longer than the ones in the original bed do, but they're doing really well. This dark peony is doing really well. The coneflower did flower and then they all got knocked off because Saskatchewan weather. I do have to come through here and weed again, but I've got 
I think all of the irises now, except for one of them is suspect still. But I'm leaving it. I'm going to try not to buy a bunch more irises and just let these ones kind of do what they're going to do. Um, the daylilies are starting to put stalks out. This iris is going to bloom and I'm very excited to see which one it is. And I got my daylilies coming up. More irises. Yeah. It's doing, it's doing better. Because <laughs> I was very worried that I was going to actually lose a whole lot more in this bed than I did. Um, I got another bloom coming up here. So this is one of the suspect ones. However, it does have growth green growth coming up on it it just doesn't look very happy um this is also the path that the water came shooting through um when we had that very first rainstorm there so i can understand why it's not super happy and then this one <laughs> this tiny little green leaf here um that's the one that I might have kept pulling out of the ground to see if it was okay. <laughs> so, I stopped doing that. And, uh, hopefully now it will establish itself a little bit. But I do have little Asiatic lilies that are putting bulbs, or blooms out. Oh, look! Wait, did I get this one already? Oh, I did. But that's exciting. I didn't expect my irises to flower this year, so that's good. Then, hold on. Oh, I gotta show you the peony bed. Oof. So this is still doing well. The peonies are growing. I do plan on putting some annuals and stuff in and around here. Probably be later in the week when I can walk a little bit better. Um, yeah, so that's the update for the front yard. Uh, still nothing on the porch because I haven't found anything that I really want to plant and I'm pretty sure most of my cano or calla, cannas, yes, most of my cannas didn't winter very well. Um, but eventually this will get planted. Probably, hopefully before next weekend. Um, so yeah, let's go take a look at what's going on in the backyard. So, we have Pepper Alley. Pepper Alley has peppers. <laughs> well, some of them are peppers. There's pepper right there. That one's got a pepper on it. I'm quite impressed. Um, did my peppers kind of different, but kind of the same. Um, so, I know last year I had planted to a pot and they seem to do pretty good um but this year I did just peppers on my stairs whereas last year I had tomatoes as well and they seem to be doing okay I will probably get marigolds and plunk them in with them um yeah and again it rained last night so that's all wet and I can't put shoes on so we're gonna have to shoot the garden tour from this side um what else do I got going on? Oh, I have a clematis. This clematis flowered. So I will be able to plant it out front. Got tons of little spider guys. Because it's that time. Little orbies. Um, yeah. Everything is just kind of growing right now. Which is nice. Um... Tomatoes need to get strung up because they're starting to get floppy on themselves. The peas are growing up the 4x4s. The beans are looking really good. Cucumbers came up, which I'm excited about because last year I had such a hard time with them. I've got the one zucchini plant there because the yellow didn't come up. And then I've got carrots up and beets up and radishes are up. Nothing looks like it's bolting yet because it's been hot during the day, but it's been also cool at night. 
So things seem to be enjoying that a little bit more. Uh, floppy tomatoes over there. Eggplants that I thought were dying but are not, which is nice. Uh, yeah. Uh, I've got the T-Rex hosta is growing. Got the bees out. Yeah. Everything seems to be doing pretty good. And then hopefully my foot will be healed enough that I can putter around because like I got a weed in the back there. I get my potatoes out. My okra's growing. Oh, I have a, t a pea plant that's napping. I'm gonna have to fix that. But yeah. Things seem to be doing pretty good. Like I said, everything's kind of flopped over right now because it rained yesterday. It rained all night. Which I'm okay with because then I don't have to water. <laughs> but yeah. Short quick update this week because can't do a whole lot right now until this dang foot heals. Um, and yes, I know I'm complaining about it a lot. I apologize. <laughs> It hurts. <laughs> but yeah, that's where we're at for week two of the videos in the 2023 gardening season. And with that, I will sign off and I'll see you guys next week.